Welcome to Yacht Talk. We are in St. James's in the heart of London to meet Henry Smith at boutique brokerage Cecil Wright and we're going to discuss the latest market trends in the super yacht industry. Let's go. Hello Henry, thank you for welcoming us here in the heart of St. James's in your office, designed by Winch, I believe. That's correct. Yeah, Andrew very kindly uh, put this together when we set up the business. So tell us about the history of Cecil Wright. How did it all start? Uh, so it all started uh, with Chris and myself, well Chris Cecil Wright and myself, uh, we were both at Edmiston, I was working as his junior, and uh, we left at the end of 2012 and set up, set up the business at the beginning of 2013. Uh, initially, it was just three of us working from his dining room table uh, in Monaco. And then uh, our team grew, and we, we were planning to only be three or four people for the first few years. I think by year three, we were up to ten, which was rather unexpected. Um, but we had a pretty good run to start with, so we required more, required more headcount. We had a new build in progress, and we had our charter, our charter departments picking up. We needed a CA department. Uh, and then here we are today, ten years later, we had our 10-year anniversary on the 4th of June. Uh, and here we are with 17 people now, um, offices in the UK, Jersey and Monaco. So what's your philosophy or what's your unique selling point at Cecil Wright? Because you're quite a small boutique brokerage firm. We are. So um, we, we, we basically differentiated ourselves from everyone else. And when we, when we took a step back and had a look at the industry, we realised that every brokerage was kind of the same insofar as they offer everything at the top end and everything at the bottom end and everything, everything in between. And there's just too much out there to know everything about everything. So our idea was we'd focus on a very, very small part of the market and just know our sector very, very well and therefore become the, uh, the masters of that segment. Um, and that, that segment being large custom Northern European motor yachts um, uh, with a focus on Dutch and, and German building. May I ask why? Uh, well, a number of reasons. Um, Dutch and German build quality tends to be of a more consistent and high uh, level. Um, when you look at the people who buy those sort of boats, it's a very different type of buyer. Um, you tend to find that the proportion of someone's net worth they are putting into that vessel is a lot less than uh, on, a, on smaller boats. Um, people's exposure to markets tend to be uh, less. Therefore, when you know, global markets do correct, they, you don't find that people are really tightening the purse strings on the boats. Therefore, the quality, sorry, the condition of the boat is sustainable or sustained. Um, then when you look at recovery from, from recession, you can see which market segments recover the quickest, where the yachts hold value best. And that's basically where we focus our attention. So tell us more about that. What are the current market conditions? How would you describe them? Uh, unstable, <laughs> basically in a word. I mean, if you're, again, it's shown quite clearly now, if you look at the smaller boat market, and by smaller boat market, I mean yeah, anything from 15 metres up to, say, 30 metres, sort of off the peg boats, people are holding off buying them now. And we saw a huge run on, 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 on purchases and orders last year. Um, but that market now, with interest rates going up and potentially another interest rate hike, interest rate hike today, people you know, who are exposed to finance uh, or financing on those boats suddenly it becomes very, very unattractive. Um, now, when you look at the larger customer, customer of the market, people tend not to finance. And they, they do, but it's a different type of structured finance. So you're, you're less exposed to interest rates, and it's more basically borrowing against your assets, against your asset portfolios, which you can, which you can structure in a far more efficient way. And what about the higher end of the market? What trends are you seeing? Well, the there? higher end of the market, any, anything that's sensibly priced and in good, good condition is selling almost instantaneously. If, if you look at how quickly some of the really big boats have been sold, AFO, for example, Arrow was another. Um, we've just listed Kismet um, three weeks ago, and we've now got, I mean, I can't say exactly the number, but we have more than a handful of, of interested parties in that one boat. That's 149 million euro lesson. Um, yeah, the, the, the appetite is there, it's just a question of, uh, of making sure you're appropriately priced and appropriately marketed. So a new generation is entering the market, what are the new clients asking for? If you look at how you know, the, the age that a buyer would be 
say, 20 years ago, typically it'd be someone who had reached the end of their career and perhaps sold their business. And they might, yeah, they might be 65, they might be 70, they might have two or three yachts in them. Whereas a younger owner, you know, because, because you're buying a yacht, perhaps as a bachelor or a bachelor, uh, or a, what's a female bit of bachelor? Bachelorette. <laughs> bachelorette. <laughs> um, you know, as, as a young professional, you might be single, you might not have a spouse, you might not have children. Your re yachting requirements will change significantly over, the, over your years as a yacht owner. So you'll start off as a, as a young bachelor or bachelorette, you will want to have a fast flash boat, and then you might get married, you might settle down, you might have children, you might need something more stable. Your children then grow and develop, then they, they want something else, they want perhaps more of an explorer type vessel, and then you know, you, you've got a 50 year career as a yacht owner, and your, your requirements will change throughout that. And that's, it's to the great, great benefit of the yachting industry, because you know, there's no such thing as the perfect yacht. There's the perfect yacht for that time, for that moment in your life, but it's never going to suit you the whole way through your life, so you will need to cycle through. And the younger people come into the industry and start buying boats, the better it is for all of us who work within the industry, uh, purely because they'll be a longer-term client and, and therefore will cycle through more vessels. How do you best build a relationship with the client so that you understand what you've just described, how their life may change, what they are really after in terms of experiencing the boat, for instance, and that lifestyle. How do you do it? The trick is to spend a lot of time with them. Um, we don't, like, as Cecil right, we don't try and sell more boats than anyone else to more people than anyone else. And our, our, our goal is not, yeah, it's not to sell 100 yachts to 100 people, it's to sell 100 yachts to 10 people. And you look after that client all the way through. And the way you do that is by, by being able to give them the time that they deserve and that they require, uh, and knowing what you're talking about. Uh, which sounds kind of obvious, but uh, you'd be surprised uh, what, what, what goes on. I, that's why we focus on our segment, because we, we're confident that we can add value. And if you're not adding value to your client, then you shouldn't really be in the position of, your, of, of trying to sell them anything, frankly. And finally, I have to ask you about your perception of Heeson as a yacht builder, but also as a brand. I think Heeson is a very strong brand. I think it's, uh, it's certainly an aspirational brand. Uh, it's a brand which we would like to work more closely with as, as a business. You know, obviously, it falls into our Dutch pedigree category. Um, I think the space within the market they fill is phenomenal. Uh, and yeah, I think the product, if, uh, if well planned, is very, very good. And I would have no hesitation in recommending them. One word to describe the super yacht industry. Phenomenal. Thank you very much, Henry. Thank you. My pleasure. Well, great insights about the latest trends in the super yacht market. Stay with us. More episodes of Yacht Talk coming your way very soon. Oh, and remember, keep yachting. <laughs>